Hey guys, this session let's talk about how to find the area of a triangle when three points are given to you. We are not using the formula A is half times base times height. So let's see how to build the logic to find the area of the triangle A, B, C. Now let me do one thing. Let, let me just break this, uh, the whole area given to you from A, B, Q, R and C. Right, I can just make it like this. I can move this guy here. All right, this guy is here and I can move this guy here. Right, so what's happening so this figure and this figure is same it means the area of this guy and this guy is exactly same if i have to find the area of the triangle abc i just have to subtract this part of it from the actual area given to me so is this the logic now i can find the area of the triangle if at all i can find the area of this trapezium and add it with this trapezium and subtract the area of this trapezium with the sum of these two guys then i will get the area of the triangle that is it so let's do one thing just write this whole equation so I can write that area of, I can write area of the triangle A, B, C, that is this guy, should be equal to the area of this trapezium. I can write the area of the trapezium. Let's write that carefully. That is A, B, Q, and P. So it should be area of the trapezium A, B, Q, P, plus I'm adding this area, that is area of the trapezium again, area of this guy is A, P, R, C. That is A, P, R, C. And I'm subtracting the area of the trapezium B, Q, R, and C. So let me write that area of the trapezium B, Q, R, C. So if I can find the area of this trapezium and add it with the area of this trapezium and subtract the area of this guy from these two things, I should get the area of the triangle. That's the logic, guys. Let's see how to do this using coordinate geometry. Well, that's the logic we will guess. I can see that the area of the triangle ABC is given as 20.5. So let me write that here. So accordingly, according to this formula, this is 20.5 area of the triangle ABC. And that should be equal to the area of the trapezium, that is ABQP, this guy. That should be 38. So let me write 38. And I'm adding this with the area of this guy, that is 50. And I should be subtracting this guy. So that's, that's how it goes. The area of the triangle is equal to this plus this the area of this guy plus this guy negative or subtracting the area of this from the sum of these two so that should be 67 here minus 67.5 look at that what you get is 88 minus 67.5 which is actually good 20.5 which is nothing but the area of the triangle on the left hand side so that's the logic guys let's see how to derive this uh this formula basically all right let's put this back again the whole the whole figure back again so it goes up here this guy is done and we go back with this guy is here right now i put this guy right now here so we got this diagram which is the way it is there in the textbook okay so now we know the logic that to find the area of the triangle when three points are given is finding the area of the trapezium a b q p that is this guy here and adding the area of the trapezium a a p r c and with that i'm going to subtract the area of the trapezium b q r c that is b q and r c so first thing is to find the area of the trapezium a b q p and we know that the area of the tra uh, trapezium is given as half times sum of parallel sides into perpendicular distance between them so let's go ahead and do that i'm looking for the area of these this this trapezium but we need to find the area of this guy which is half times sum of parallel sides so these are the parallel sides we can see that b q and a p are the parallel sides let me write that here that is nothing but half times the sum of parallel sides to the bq plus ap i can add bq plus ap and multiply it with the perpendicular distance between them that is nothing but qp so that is qp beautiful now let's come back to the area of the other trapezium that is uh, aprc so we're talking about this trapezium so let's hide the other one here how do you find the area of this trapezium let's write that that is equal to half times the sum of parallel sides and i can see that the parallel sides are a p and c r so i can write a p plus c r and multiply with the perpendicular distance then that is p r so let's go with that p into r minus i go to find the area of the trapezium b q r c let's see that the trapezium b q r c is this guy i've got to find the area of this so let's take it off so how do you find the area of this guy Again, the same formula that is half times the area of uh, the sum of parallel sides. So parallel sides are nothing but BQ and CR. We can write that is BQ plus CR into the perpendicular distance between them. That's nothing but QR. So let me write that QR. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and find what is BQ and AP, OP, all this in terms of uh, X1 and Y1. 
So let's go with the first trapezium A, B, Q, P. So that is this guy we had and take them, these two guys off. Now, how do you find the length B, Q from this diagram? Well, I can see that B, Q is this height and that is nothing but Y1 because this length from here to here is given as X2 for me and that height is given as Y2 because that point is nothing but X2 and Y2. Likewise, this point is given as X1, Y1. So it means from here to here should be X1, yes. Right, that is the x coordinate of the point A. And this height is given as y1. All right, so we can write that here. So let's go ahead and do that. That is half times, and I can take this bq is nothing but this height, which is y2. We can write this as y2 plus ap is nothing but y1 for me. That is y1. Now, what is qp? qp is nothing but this distance that is from here till here. I can write as well as x1 minus x2 it means this full distance and in that i let me cut off this part that you get qp so i can write as x1 minus x2 so we can write this as x1 minus x2 that's what it is this length so that's the perpendicular distance we can write as x1 minus x2 beautiful let's take the second trapezium that is this guy that is a p and r and c now how do you find the coordinates of this i can see here in the diagram we need to know what is a p so where do you find ap is this guy we already know that that is nothing but y1 because this height is y1 for me right because it's x1 and y1 so that is x1 and that is y1 we got it so ap is nothing but uh, y1 plus what is cr we can see that cr is this height and that's nothing but x3 and y3 so it means i can write from here to here is x3 let me write that for you guys from here to here is x3 this length is x3 and that height is given to you as y3 so let me write that that is y3 okay so cr is nothing but y3 beautiful and what is pr for me pr is nothing but this distance from here till here now this distance is nothing but this full distance which is nothing but x3 yes and minus op i can write right so i can write this guy as x3 minus x1 why is that x1 because this is the distance I'm subtracting it from this full distance. So we got this to be x3 minus x1. That's the right here. That is x3 minus x1. Beautiful. Let's go with the last basium that is uh, B, Q, R, C. And that guy looks like this guy that is B, Q, and R, and C. Now, how do we write the formula for this? We need to know what is uh, B, Q, right? So let's see what B, Q here is. From here to here is B, Q. That is B, Q. This height is B, Q, which is nothing but Y2. Let me write that that is half times i can write that is y2 plus what is cr cr is this height and we know that height is y3 so we can write this as y3 beautiful now what is qr now that's interesting we can see that this part is qr from here to here is qr this, this is what i'm talking about this is qr but i can write this more like from here to here that is nothing but uh, x3 for me right from the origin i should take o uh, i can take and in this i need to subtract this part of it okay i will take off this thing and this length is given to me as x2 so that's x2 and this length would become nothing but x3 minus x2 okay that's what i'm looking for well let's write x3 minus x2 of this place that is x3 minus x2 we got it now what's common out here is half and everything else will come inside that is y2 plus y1 and you have x1 minus x2 and let's write this whole thing guys well, what's the next thing to do here is to open the brackets here. Well, let's open the brackets and see what happens now. This can be written as y2 into x1. That is y2 x1. And this goes with that with the negative sign. We get negative y2 x2. Likewise, take these two guys and multiply. That is y1 x1. So with the plus sign y1 x1. And multiplying this, we get negative uh, y1 x2. Well, I just open these two guys, guys, the brackets here and the brackets here. One thing special here is I take the negative sign here, which is this guy, and I will take a big bracket. So because this negative sign belongs to this whole thing, the product of this, these two brackets. So the next step, I would open these guys and see what's left out. So let's let me write that. That is half times. And what you have here is all the things. Let's write that once. Now let's open this bracket with a negative sign because that's important for me. That is negative uh, y2 x3. You can write that. That is negative y2 x3 and minus into minus is plus so there is where the sign changes be very careful here guys that is y2 x2 and you get a negative sign y3 x3 and minus into minus is plus 
y 3x2 okay that's very important for me before we rearrange we can see that y1 x1 with a positive sign and y1 x1 with the next one these guys will cancel up likewise we have x2 y2 or y2 x2 and we have another one which is a positive i can cancel these two and we can find one more thing that is uh, y3 x3 and y3 x3 this will cancel up so what is left out let's write that that is half times and i do have y2 x1 rearranging this we can see something interesting we do have a half here anyway but i can see x1 here and x1 here can we write these two guys together that is uh, i can write y2 x1 minus y3 x1 all right likewise we have a x2 and x2 here let me write this guy first that is plus uh x2 y3 and minus y1 x2 all right and we have x3 here and x3 here beautiful we have some grouping here so we can write this first that is y1 x3 minus y2 x3 okay can i take common x1 right so i can take a half and you have x1 common out i get y2 minus y3 likewise i can take x2 common out giving you y3 minus y1 and i can take x3 common out here plus x3 common out i'll get x, uh, y1 minus y2 and that is the formula to find the area of the triangle with given uh, point that is a x1 y1 b x2 y2 and c x3 y3 if three points are given to me the coordinates of three points i can use this formula because here i just need x1 x2 and x3 which we have here there's x1 x2 and x3 and here you have y2 y3 y3 y1 and y1 y2 it means y1 y2 and y3 it means with this formula i can actually find the area of this triangle given to me that's all about guys